Okay, so we've got this one in for our water leak procedure today. Um, so just to quickly go round the outside of the car. Uh, just to note, we've got a panoramic roof up the top as well. We've got it in the back, lovely. And the passenger side, so it just looks very dirty. Okay, so whereabouts have you found the water so far? So water was found, um, a lot of water was found mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, about 18 months ago in this footwell. Mm -hmm. So they had the carpets up, seats out, pulled that up and it was inch deep in water yep. in there. Um, they also said that they found that this area was damp but it wasn't like pooling water. It was underneath these seats. Okay, yep. And what I've seen is that we've got on the back of the seat runners there, there's rust. Yep. And then in this one, uh, okay. rust on the rear seat. Oh, there's rust on these runners as well. I'll get you. So, so whether that's damp in the atmosphere mm -hmm. or whether that's damp on the Water coming in the runners. That's right. Uh, did you notice any obviously any water in the boot and so Not found any here, but again, yeah. like to take it all apart is a nightmare, so I'll get that's you. what you guys are specialists at. That's it. Did you find any water in the driver's side at all? Um no. So no. it's only passenger it's side. It's been passenger side, but so we had the problem, the mm -hmm. local garage did their best, but they couldn't find where the leak was coming from, so we mm -hmm. sent it to Mini. Mm -hmm. Mini then took a lot of money off me, mm -hmm. crazy amounts of money off me, to fix it all, mm -hmm. and within two weeks it stank again. Took it back to them, they claim they completely ripped the whole interior out, checked everything, and put it all back together again dry. Mm -hmm. it still smells. Okay. So, and it's still getting water. Yeah, so, well. so whether there is water getting into other places that wasn't found, I don't know. Okay, so it's really a case of, you know, test everything. That's it, do the 20 hour point check and see what we find. The only okay. other option is, is that Mini did fix the leak. Mm -hmm. But they never dried it properly and that's why it still stinks. I'll get you. All Obviously right. how long ago was it since Mini had it? Uh, Mini had it um this time last year, so it's been about a year. So it's been a year. Yeah. Have you noticed any, obviously, any build up of water on the passenger side since they've done what we've, they've done? We've not taken that all out. So, I get you. But no. the car is always wet inside. Okay. Like on a, in the morning, you come out, the, there's condensation, condensation everywhere. everywhere. And that's okay, stuff. that's all right. So, what we do is also we'll pop the carpet up, we'll see what we find underneath. Obviously, you've got the panoramic roof as well, I believe, at the top. Yes, yeah. Um, so, that's all right. So, that's okay. So, I can end the video there. So we've got all the information we need. We have a Mini Countryman in today, 2013. So we're just going to show you obviously what we've found so far. Um, so if we focus on the front screen to begin with, uh, we can see by the logo it's not an original screen. And we're going to focus up in this top corner where our bubbles are. Um, so if I just quickly grab the airline, let me just place you down a second so I can connect it up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the top corner and I'm going to put my airline up on the inside. And as we can see, there is a leak there. So that would correspond with the water going down and being in the passenger front footwell. Um, so that's the first one. We do advise always doing an upgrade on the A-pillars on the minis. Uh, the reason being is there's clips behind here and the water gets behind and then goes into the A-pillar and then what it actually does is it sits in the sill and goes backwards and forwards. So we would recommend doing that while it's in. Uh, coming on to the passenger door, um, actually what we'll do is we'll go around to the back door first of all. So we focus on the driver's rear door and as usual, we'll put water down the back of the screen. And then if we go on the inside, we can see that it falls out of the doors, but you can also see that it's running out of where the door card is. Uh, so that's a leak. So what it would do is it would land on this rubber and then slowly work its way in. And then if we come round to the passenger front door and do exactly the same again. Okay, so it's coming out the bottom of the door. And if we look closely, we can see a run mark right here. So once again, that will then fall on this rubber and then it would then slowly work its way into the car. Um, we can't see any water underneath the footwells, um, but the problem is it does smell damp in there. Um, so there is some, some form of dampness in the car. Um, so what we've got is we've got our little gadget here, which detects dampness. So if we turn this on and put it on the floor, 
we can see that the, the levels are not going up at all. But and then if we go up to here, where the actual leak is, we can see that it is raised up. So that's telling me that there is dampness behind the dashboard, probably on the bulkhead underlay. Um, so we have obviously our vias obviously putting the drying machine in here, so it's completely bone dry. And we would do an odour kill as well to get rid of the smell. Uh, so there we go, so that's what we found so far. Just an interim video showing you James is just taking the drying machine out. Right, now that pipe's the exhaust pipe, but the other one comes out and the other two hoses go on that were underneath the dash through the centre. The dashboard's now dry, we'll show you in a minute. Right, this is one of the door panels that was leaking. James shows you, show you where the hole is. So the water's coming through that where the seal's broken and running down there and of course coming out at the bottom. Um, right, so we've come round here. This is this one's okay, but we've recommended we have them off and see. Um, this one here is another one, the other one that's leaking. So you've got there where the water's come straight out the bottom. So it'll touch the membrane on the other side and make it way, its way out here. Right, the screen's been out. Um, they have confirmed that it was leaking. They've shown on the photograph it was leaking from here to here. And we saw on the video before the air coming out of here. So this has all been rectified now. Um, and um, they've done photos, so you'll see those. And then I'll just show you in the front, the driver's one. Uh, we recommended we look at that one. It looks okay, but we'll double check that we're happy with that seal, otherwise it will be resealed. And uh, so anything else, James, is that it? <laughs> Do I want a cup of tea, Dave? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next video you'll see is when the car's ready and, you know, we call it the, the end video. So you'll see a progress then of the car all done and back together and dry and fixed. Okay? Meter on it now, so James is just going across it there. You can see that it's nice and green. So uh, we see the gauge there showing it's green. So we're happy it's dry under there now. Um, it would be because it's had the drying machines on for the whole night. So, um, yeah. Okay, we've got the end video on the Mini Punchman, um, so it's had a courtesy wash, um, everything has been fixed, uh, we've done the A-pillar upgrade as well as the screen was refitted due to the screen not being fitted properly, um, and we've done door membranes as well, driver's rear and passenger front, but we've done all four, um, so it's ready to go out to the wall environment test now, um, so that one's all ready for collection.